We are following breaking news out of Southwest Charlotte. As we were just telling you about, commanders are seeking help piecing together what led to a CMPD officer shooting someone, uh, shooting someone less than three hours ago. It happened on Annabelle Place. That's near Steel Creek Road, just south of I-485. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is there live with what police are learning about this incident. Good morning, Savannah. What are we learning? Hey, good morning, Jason and Ann Wyatt. Right now, we know that there's one person in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. This was an officer-involved shooting. I just finished speaking with Chief Johnny Jennings, and he tells me that officers responded to a call about somebody chasing another person with a gun here in this apartment complex. I want you to take a look. He says the call said that they were running in between some of these buildings here at this apartment complex. And uh, as of right now, you can see there are still quite a few officers right here. Uh, some also have a lot of cars in between. Between. So that's what one of the things that they say is going to be the challenge in terms of investigating what happened. They say there are so many cars around, so many bushes around. They're looking for uh, any kind of evidence all around this area here this morning. So uh, again, once they got uh, responded to the call that there was somebody chasing another person with a gun, an officer responded, fired their gun. Now there's one person who's hurt. Again, non-life threatening injuries. At this point, police tell us that they don't know if the person who is in the hospital was the one being chased or the one doing the chasing. They say that's still uh, up for investigation. Right now, state officials are going to be the ones who will doing this uh, investigation, considering that there was an officer who fired their weapon here. This all started right around 3.30 this morning. Um, and again, as uh, we just heard, there's not going to be a, a very large traffic impact. Officers say that, again, Brown Greer Road here will stay open this morning, but they will likely uh, still be out here through the morning hours as the sun comes up, looking for or any other evidence that they can figure out uh, what happened. If there's anything else here at the apartment complex, it's going to tell them um, what led up to this incident. So we'll stay on the scene and uh, work to get more updates from investigators as they learn a little bit more and bring those to you just as soon as we get them. Reporting live in Charlotte, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.